Well, a Harvard teaching hospital is in hot water after revelations that at least 37 of its publications may contain false information. Four top researchers at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston are accused of publishing false data in medical papers. Now the Harvard-affiliated teaching hospital is seeking to retract or correct some of the papers at the center of it all. And this is just the latest scandal sullying the Ivy League school's name. Just weeks ago, former Harvard president Claudine Gay was forced to resign in part due to her own plagiarism scandal. Let's bring in Sholto David, a molecular biologist who sounded the alarm on this latest scandal. Sholto, thank you so much for your time. This all started because you alleged irregularities in nearly 60 papers. What led to your discovery? Uh, so I, I, I've been following um, different um, research misconduct, I guess, in, in papers across uh, lots of different institutions. And uh, I, I was led to uh, this Dana-Farber um, examples just by following uh, different papers and, and co-authorship relationships. Um, so that was kind of how it was discovered, just following relationships between scientists and um, different papers that they've, they've authored together. Because I write a lot um, of comments about um, mistakes or errors in scientific papers. So, so for those of us who are not molecular biologists, uh, you know, you've, you've read so many of these papers. What type of information are we talking about here? So I think most of the most of these are errors to do with um, pretty simple kind of copy and paste mistakes. A lot of them, some of the more serious, but um, the copy and paste mistakes uh, consist of you if you have a figure in a scientific paper and you have. Um, experimental condition A, and you have a photo which shows that, and then you have experimental condition B. You should have a different photo for the for the second condition, but you, you may quite often find that you know simple mistakes have been you know that it's the same photo in, in both figures, and you know it's a little bit more complex here with 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 different examples, but it, it seems like quite a lot of these are just copy and paste, and then there are some more concerning examples where it looks like. Perhaps there's examples where um, some attempt has been made to conceal that the, the copying and pasting or splicing has been has been done. And we're talking about a very well-known institution here. Talk about the significance of what this means, if it is all in fact true. Well, I think I think um, you know the fact that they've said there'll be six retractions and and thirty something corrections. It kind of proves that the the points I raised are valid, right? They are going to go ahead and and. Um, correct and retract a lot of these papers, but the remaining 17 or so are at other institutions, so we'll wait and see what happens there, or the, the, the data is at other institutions, and there are about three papers where they kind of dispute the points that I've sent to them. I think, you know, I'm a little bit reluctant to say, <laughs> speak too much about what it means more broadly, but, uh, you know, from, from my perspective as someone who, who looks at scientific papers to, to find errors, I think there's probably more than people would imagine uh, more errors than people would imagine, um, even in papers from top institutions. You know, and Shulta, why do you think Harvard is kind of already trying to retract or correct dozens of papers at this point versus maybe putting up a bit more of a fight? Um, I don't know, really. And, and I think it's really it's, it's a good decision from them. I'm, I'm pleased to see that they've taken some decisive action. Um, it is quite strange uh, for, for people like me, and, and there are lots of other people working on this kind of thing, pointing out errors, that it's happened quite quickly. And I think part of that might be to do with the student reporting um, by the, the Harvard Crimson who came out and reported on, on the blog that I posted um, with, with the kind of accusations. And then it quite quickly snowballed into them announcing the corrections and retractions. You know, obviously, you've done a lot of research. You've done a lot of digging. What, do you, what does this mean going forward? You know, do you think we'll see this happen or happening at other top tier and even not so top tier research institutions? I mean, the, 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 this is a, a pretty broad problem in, in science. And, and one thing that's worth mentioning is that a lot of the comments that I've sent to Harvard um, existed um, already on the website PubPeer. So there were already public comments um, pointing out quite a number of these errors. Now, recently, I came back and I looked again at a lot more of the papers, and I added a, a, a whole bunch more comments and, and basically um, questions about the validity of the, of the data, particularly the pictures. So. You know, one thing to note is that these these accusations are often out there publicly, and they've simply been ignored for a long time. And there are lots of similar um, ongoing processes at different universities and stuff. They just don't tend to be announced publicly. Well, it looks like uh, they are no longer being ignored. Sholto David, molecular biologist, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.